lupus is a relatively uncommon disease. It predominantly uh, affects women and there are very few effective treatments. Probably the most serious complication of lupus is kidney failure. And the only treatment for that is dialysis or kidney transplant. Kidney injury in lupus nephritis has been a very um, challenging um, problem like for decades. There's been very little treatment and uh, we have been like, searching for potential therapeutic targets for uh, kidney injury in the lupus patients for years. So our goal was to understand the mechanism of irreversible kidney damage and to uh, identify new treatments to perhaps prevent that in vulnerable hosts. For many years, my lab has been interested in studying a signaling pathway that's important for autoimmune disease and also for certain types of cancer. And it's regulated by a pair of signaling scissors that are called ADAM17 or the TNF-alpha convertase. And those scissors in turn are controlled by hands that uh, we refer to as IROM, inactive rhomboid 2. We therefore hypothesize that uh, blocking IROM could help mice with glomerulonephritis, and it did in, in a very uh, efficient and quite spectacular manner. What we saw um, in this study is that the IROM 2 actually uh, mediates the shedding, the processing of uh, important inflammatory cytokine to NEF. We were able to, in this mouse model of lupus that typically after a few months develops kidney inflammation and kidney failure and irreversible scarring in the kidneys, and we were able to knock out IROM2 in this mouse and the mouse didn't get kidney disease. So we were able to prevent irreversible kidney damage, kidney failure, by knocking out IROM2. There are very few effective treatments for patients with lupus. And this provides a totally different approach to treat lupus. And I think it would be fantastic if we were able to translate the mouse work to a therapeutic in patients specifically because there's so little available. Autoimmune disease is a major focus of the Hospital for Special Surgery, so I think we would just be thrilled and ecstatic if, uh, if our work would turn out to be able to help patients down the line.